Hi everyone, this is Karen Campbell, Joslin Art Museum's Phil Wilson Curator of Contemporary Art, and today I'm going to be speaking about this wonderful Micheline Thomas painting from the collection. Until the second half of the 20th century, Black subjects were nearly absent from art, and this of course was a byproduct of enduring racism, white supremacy, and economic disparities in both Europe and America. Now, the underrepresentation of female voices in the arts is also well documented, so it's clear that Black women have been subjected to particular silencing in the visual arts. As the author Toni Morrison once noted, in the greater battle for equality, the Black woman has had, quote, nothing to fall back on, not maleness, not whiteness, not ladyhood, not anything. And out of the profound desolation of her reality, she may very well have invented herself. So I think that Micheline Thomas's work really embodies the spirit of self-definition uh, by addressing concerns specific to Black women and by depicting subjects who aren't ashamed of their femininity, their sexuality, or the color of their skin. Thomas draws on a wide variety of sources, including European portraiture and landscape painting, 1970s black exploitation films, and current popular culture. And she's also heavily influenced by the upheaval that drove social justice movements in the 1960s through the 1980s. So she looks to civil rights, uh, the Black is Beautiful movement, and second wave feminism. And in doing so, she pays homage to the women, many of them African American, who boldly rejected traditional standards of beauty beauty and worked to redefine how women are viewed by society at large. So Thomas works in painting, photography, printmaking, and video, and she foregrounds Black femininity while confronting contemporary understandings more generally of beauty and sexuality. She is, of course, most well known for her portraiture, and the artist credits her mother as the source of inspiration for her depictions of empowered, glamorous, and self-assured women who embrace both their gender and the color of their skin. Now, Thomas grounds her approach to portraiture in the work of some of the most influential painters and collage artists of the 19th and 20th centuries, including Pablo Picasso, Edouard Manet, Henri Matisse, and Romare Bearden. And she often mimics the classic poses favored by these masters, but she's also seeking to reclaim agency for women, who are traditionally viewed in the art context as either muses or objects to be desired or consumed. Now, the role of embellishment in cultivating beauty is central to Micheline Thomas's work. Uh, Her paintings typically start with colorful enamel and acrylic, and these are traditional art materials, but they are also used in the beauty industry to create fake fingernails and elaborate polish designs. And then, as you can see here, the artist then often adorns the surfaces of her paintings with glittering rhinestones, and these will accentuate a pattern uh, on a swath of fabric or a crown of natural hair or perhaps a full pair of lips. In continuation of Thomas's relationship with art history, the title of this painting, Din une très belle négresse, directly references one of 19th century French painter Edouard Manet's models, uh, a woman named Laura who appears in three of his paintings. Une très belle négresse translates to a beautiful black woman, and this is how Manet describes his muse in a notebook alongside her street address. So Thomas's regal subject here sports a glorious afro, vibrant makeup, and stately jewelry. And she meets the viewer's gaze as if to say, if you get to look at me, then I get to look right back at you. And this is a sentiment we hear echoed in Thomas's recent declaration that what's currently happening in art is the, quote, validation and agency of the Black female body. We do not need permission to be present. Thank you so much for joining today and please stay tuned for more virtual gallery talks coming soon.